Yeah, yeah. All right. So this is, I think this is what Vosh was going to cover from this guy. Um, I, or I don't know if he did cover it already, but like, yeah. Vegan activist identifies as broccoli. Now, I don't know anything about this person besides perhaps the fact that he's vegan, but um, he could be like a neo-Nazi. I just don't know. Uh, that's kind. That's part of what we're going to find out. But on the whole vegan identifies thing, transphobes have two jokes. They have two jokes. They have... Um, the I identify as X thing, which is usually the attack helicopter meme. Um, and then they have the... Uh, can I just mute all of Discord for streams? Can I do that? <laughs> totally killing my entire, like... Let's just, like, ignore it, I guess. Um, they have the attack helicopter meme, which is, you know, doesn't make any sense because you can't identify as... There's no helicopter identity. It's gender identity, you know? But, um... And then they have the, uh... Well, I guess the other, the other joke transphobes make are not important, so... Let's just start the video, huh? Yep, this is real life. Oh, he has an annoying fucking European accent, just like Sargon. <laughs> they legitimately think this is making a difference. Wait, is this guy anti-vegan? Maybe I'm actually happy about social distancing because these dickheads don't get to congregate. I'm promoting a plant-based food system and highlighting uh, <laughs> government and media inaction on climate change. Until the government and the media uh, take us seriously. Take you seriously? Who the fuck is that dude dressed as broccoli? Take this issue seriously. Wait a second, guys. Is this video even worth watching? Is this just some idiot, like, yelling at vegan protesters? For 11 minutes? 11 and a half minutes, no less? Is this all this is? No, he has a shitty fuck- <laughs> We will continue to rebel. <laughs> Forget everything else, don't worry about it. Who the fuck is this broccoli man? Ladies and gentlemen, all those questions will be answered and more in the coming moments. But before we get into that, ladies and gentlemen, this video is brought to you by today's amazing sponsor, Slaughter Mania. Slaughter Mania. Yeah, no, this is one of these shitty, like, I have a sponsor channels. Fuck you, dude. Get out of here with this. When does it end? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. I am finally here with the content that I always promised. Broccoli related content. Ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in. It's finally here. This is the worst video I've seen all year, probably. Mr. Broccoli, you went viral on the internet because you were arrested and you were a piece of broccoli. Wait a second. Piers Morgan is talking to him? <laughs> that is just incredible television right there. Some of your best work, British TV. For some time- Dude, what is the point of this? Now we've had people identify- This is actually just gonna be me fucking roasting this guy. Wait, this is the part where he says the dumb thing, right? Some of your best work- Wait, no, that's the whole video. <laughs> British TV. For some time now, we've had people identifying as different sexes. Men as women, women as men, and both- No, it's not as different sexes. Men and women aren't sexes. They're genders. Ah. What, what was the whole quote he said? Sexes, men as women, women as men, and both as neither. Whatever that means. And okay, so this guy is just a transphobe. This guy, yeah. On them, and since they've been doing that, people have been joking about identifying as an attack helicopter. It became a bit of a meme. Yeah, the dumb meme. But never in- they're self-aware. my life have I heard of someone identifying as a vegetable? Other than Stephen Hawking, obviously. Okay, that's just, that's just like, 
That's not, that's like dark humor that isn't funny. That's just cringe dark humor, dude. Piece of shit. Um, yes. Uh, you identify. And then he says, I'm a piece of shit. Like, it's like, oh, I identify as an asshole. It's like, yeah, we know. Leo. I, I am Mr. Broccoli. Yes. Yes, that's right, please. Um, Do you have another name or not? No, Mr. Broccoli is That's me. it. Yeah. You don't it. go about your daily business as a piece of broccoli. I've always been a piece of broccoli. Really? Yeah. Yeah, he's a protest character. It's like it's just like Vermin Supreme with a boot. Like people do this. Like part of it is to keep your actual identity hidden so that you can like go break the law for your protest purposes. Like that's this is just protest shit. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. Right. So what so do you have a job? Uh, I just grow. Do you this fucking establishment bitch, dude? Do you have a job? Fuck you. In context, this gentleman who you cannot unsee is a vegan activist who is a part of the climate change extremist group Extinction Rebellion, known as Animal Rebellion. Yes, there is a more. Extinction Rebellion is based, by the way. They're extremist fucking good. Extinction Rebellion, the people who just only a few months ago, until all this stuff happened where we all got locked inside. We're just parading through the streets, annoying the fuck out of everybody. He went viral and got on British TV after he was arrested and caught screaming. Give peas a chance. Give peas a chance. You cannot write this shit. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, I grow. He sprouted up. Well, obviously he wrote that shit. Everywhere. Yeah. And Mr. Broccoli, what is your aim? What do you want to achieve with all this? I'd really like to see uh, see a transition to a plant-based food system. I think that's that's vitally important. You want people to transition to a plant-based diet, and yet you identify as a plant yourself, sir. You <laughs> the levels of cringe I'm witnessing. This is gonna be like, I'm going to um be talking more about the cringe thing later, even when we cover the contrapoints thing, but. I don't even want to finish this. Do I have to finish this? Is it like... Oh, one sexual deviant. How are you going to persuade people like me who want a balanced diet of fruit, veg, meat, like we've always done, and think that that's perfectly OK? A uh, plant-based diet can be a balanced diet, please. It, it, it really can. Um, and if... And there's also increasing evidence that a strict vegan diet, for example, can have bad impact on you. No, I, I don't think... Well... Shit like food and stuff is individually based. I don't even know why I'm talking about what these people are saying, but like... That's true. It's like drugs. Like, it's not just the drug inside you. It's the drug and your biology or your physiology interacting. So it's different for each individual person. Well, the scientists are saying it. Well, you know, I think... Children may end up being more stupid, they say. Children might end up being more stupid if they listen to you too much, Piers Morgan, but... If, if you have only a vegan diet, for example. Now, Piers Morgan, the host of the show here, is referring to many studies that are talking about plant diets and not including meat in the diet, slowing the development of a young brain. Now, I'm not going to go into that. We've done that before. This is not arguing science. This is talking about Broccoli Man, all right? Now, what Broccoli Man does next... Yeah, we're talking about Broccoli Man, dude. ...changes my opinion of him immediately. I thought he was a foe. I think after what he says next, we probably would be friends. This is incredible stuff. Uh, Pease, I don't know much about, you know, all, all I know that a plant-based food system You don't know much is... about the science. I mean, with respect I'm to not a scientist. if you're going to tell me right. to give up meat, you've got to know about the science. Otherwise, why should I listen to you? Well, uh, Pease, a plant-based food system... Are you system calling is... Piers peas? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This bloke, this vegan activist, Called the host of one of Britain's biggest TV shows instead of Piers. Peas. Bravo, chap. Fucking bravo. This is great. I don't know why I find this so fucking funny. Are you a plant? Because I'm no, not sure not you're going to win not at all. anybody over dressed as a broccoli trying to make a serious political point. I hear what you're saying. And Dude, they just brought this guy on to mock him. Holy shit. British people are cunts, dude. Holy shit. In this guy should just go Joker and like take out a gun and just shoot them all, dude. Extremely hot water <laughs> about this. You know, it's gonna go pear-shaped. Pear-shaped, yet again, fucking nailed it. 
environmentally speaking, we're in incredibly hot water and we, we do need to transition you don't to a plant-based food you? system. You don't know the science. You don't know why we think we're in hot water. Well, I'm just a broccoli at the end of the day. I, I get that. Yeah. But oh. what are you doing there? Sorry, I, I've just got a call. That's the wrong way up. Hold on. <laughs> fucking He's fucking with them. Banana phone. I know I had this lifelong crusade against vegans. But I don't know, maybe I'm on the fence. Oh, wait, is this an anti-vegan channel? Is that this guy's deal? Wait a second, I didn't even look at his channel. I just found the thumb video. Oh yeah, Michaela Peterson, Jordan Peterson's daughter, the carnivore diet queen. Yeah, this guy is like an anti-SJW, like anti-vegan. Um, Dave Rubin, dude. Should we fat shame Lizzo? Yeah, this guy is infinite amounts of asshole. This guy identifies as an asshole. Uh, fuck, do I have <laughs> five more minutes? <laughs> now, maybe I actually like this dude. Because <laughs> he's taking the piss out of the mainstream media. It's fucking fantastic. Give you the chance to come on national television and present your case. You sit there, dressed like a broccoli, saying, yeah, you should eat plants. But that's I mean, because sorry, this is absurd, yeah. the fact that we have to come and justify what scientists are actually... Mainstream science is telling us that's what's absurd, not what we're doing. Okay. But Pease is right. Broccoli Man did make an absolute dick of himself. He didn't back anything up. He just made fruit and vegetable-related puns, which is great, but... Yeah, if you're gonna do something like that for any cause, be fucking prepared so you don't come off looking dumber than they are, even if you're not. Like, <laughs> if I was gonna go on a talk show that's on TV and explain why I want to fucking abolish capitalism or something, or, like, explain how trans people are legitimate, I would fucking come with evidence and, like, actual arguments that are based on the material world. <laughs> help his cause which is a bit sad for the animal rights people who think they're taking wait a second am i agreeing with this dude at this point of the world when your <laughs> your head of state the head of cruciferous vegetables is basically full of shit he has no idea what he's talking about he's sitting there dressed as broccoli which is amazing calling the host peas hilarious answering a banana phone fantastic but proving your point that we all should be vegan nay Nay at all! So, who is Mr. Broccoli? This broccoli got busted. <laughs> a man in a broccoli costume who was part of climate protests in London what the was fuck? apprehended by the Metropolitan Police. Give keys a chance! His name is Roland Everson. He's nearly a 50 year old. This guy doxed him. Old. Uh, he's a carpenter. He uh, used to be a hunter. He uh, was recently arrested for dressing as broccoli <laughs> and he owns a glamping business. Now glamping is camping for assholes. And to set up these glamorous tents that he does when he glamps, he drives a large diesel powered truck around the country. His neighbor enlightened the media to this in an interview about Mr. Is he gonna do the individual blame for a collective problem meme? And so it turns out that Mr. Broccoli is full of shit. He's not helping the environment at all. If he, really he did it! Guys! Not using fucking gas or shit like that, like for ourselves, like not driving cars, isn't gonna do shit to fucking stop climate change. At all. At all. At all, dude. There's like a handful of companies who contribute fucking all of- wait, what the fuck? Contribute all the fucking emissions, dude. Like, literally, like, it's a fucking corporate problem. So when they peddle this shit of, like, Oh, he's full of shit. He's not helping the environment at all. It's not- it's not his problem. It's not his fault. Even if he didn't do that, it wouldn't fix the problem at all. It would fix the problem by, like, point zero 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 one percent like it's th that's not gonna do anything to stop the fucking impending apocalypse so like don't even and i hate when liberals do that too like oh bernie is a bernie is a fucking so-called environmentalist but he fucking 
drives around in a fucking jet plane. It's like, fuck you. Like, that doesn't matter. Like, <laughs> wanted to help the environment, he would get that broccoli ass of his on the back of a horse drawn carriage and he'd fucking walk to the glamping events. Not jump in a fucking Mitsubishi truck and drive there and, and kill all the fucking animals and kill the little squirrels. Little cute squirrels are dying. Something I talk about is that I actually talk about this concept a lot on my channel is the fact that like individuals cannot solve systemic issues. Like that's not how it works. You have to actually fucking think about the system as it exists and change it as a system, not like just change your everyday life. Like, you know? because of you, Mr. Broccoli. He pumps out fumes all day from his massive fucking truck and yet I'm the bad guy because I eat a couple of steaks. You sound like- And changing your fucking individual life isn't gonna do anything to solve the systemic problem. So well, shit, Mr. Broccoli, you cockhead. In fact, this particular truck that he has emits twice as much CO2 as a Boeing 737. It literally doesn't matter. That's a plane if you're a fucking idiot. That's a fuckload of fucking CO2. All I can see- Yeah, you know what does a fuckload more of that is fucking factories. Like- I is the- Our world is in imminent emergency. What the fuck? Oh my god. Heaven is angry. Not heaven! Earth is angry. The nature is angry. Earth, nature, this sounds like- This is insanely loud, dude. Holy- Fucking, if, if, if fire and water turn up, this is Captain Planet and I'm freaking out. All this angry, anguish, energy is all aiming. What could be worse? War, disease, this is what they're talking about. Is Jesus Christ coming back? Is there an asteroid or a nuclear weapon? What's happening? At us. This will wipe out the whole world. If we don't turn to vegan now. <laughs> yeah. Fucking what, mate? Help the planet. Rescue the animal. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Save our world. Be a hero. I will help the planet. Be a hero. Supreme Master Ching Hai. <laughs> this lady is fucking unreal. And even look, look at her name. In the place where someone who was awarded a medal or an honor in a different country, say for Australia, if you're a really good citizen, you might get the Order of Australia medal, which is the OAM, and it goes after your name. In, in this lady's case, she has vegan after her name, which is fucking hilarious, and it can only mean that she is a master of lettuce. Well done, Ching Hang. Congrats. Supreme Master Ching Hai's urgent call. <laughs> Supreme Master? Dude, why are vegans so weird like this? Like, why is it always, like, the Supreme Master, the spiritual connection to the earth? It's like... That fucking spirit science video. Where is it? Let's fucking find that shit. The earth is healing. Coronavirus just needs to kill all humans. Eco-fascism is good. Fucking spirit science, dude. Where is it? Weird spiritual vegans. Some of my least favorite shit. I didn't even want to look at this fucking dude's channel, dude. Holy shit. Where's the video? Yes, chak. See, like chakras and other fucking bullshit pseudoscience. Survive. I don't think it's that. The Secret Astrology of Coronavirus? That title in itself just proves to you what I fucking mean, dude. Holy shit. It's all weird. Yeah, I hate all that stuff. Rescue like, our world and pray for World Vegan. Pray for World Vegan. This is how you get people to not take you seriously unless they're fucking, like, weirdos. Like, white wannabe hippie fucking... People who might look like me, but... <laughs> you want me to watch one hour and 36 minutes of you telling me how I can save the world from eating veggies? How about you suck the biggest, fattest cock in the world, blasts? <laughs> what a weird threat. <laughs> Christ. Listen, I know I, I, I talk way too much shit about vegans, I know. And I want to move on to other topics, <laughs> just like a lot of people do. Uh, but 
They just... Other topics like... Such as... Um... Fat acceptance and other fucking anti SJW shit. Oh, this is going in the pile, dude. Bearded women are beautiful too. That's going in the fucking pile, dude. That's to be covered. Fuck yeah. This guy is gonna be like one of my favorite people to fucking tear in half. And yeah, bullshit, dude. Oh, I, I, I wish I could go on to other topics. No, you don't. This is a grift. We all, we all can see the grift you're doing. Keep providing me. It's like they write these scripts on their own. I go to write something about an issue that's really important in the political landscape, and then Dr. Broccoli fucking pops up. Like, what am I supposed to do, ladies and gentlemen? All it's I can Mr. say is this, ladies and gentlemen. Wait. Get out of here. All I can say is this, you good motherfuckers. I'll be back next week with another video, so be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East, Big Stinks. And I'll see you all very soon. Toodaloo, au revoir, bye. Yeah, we're watching this some other time. Um, But yeah, that was the fucking vegan thing. Or the, the identify as broccoli thing. Uh... What more do I have to say about that? Well, well, like I was saying about the identify meme in the first place, it's, it's, the joke doesn't make sense because you can't actually identify as, um, a fucking piece of broccoli or a helicopter, for example, because, because there's no such, there's no such thing as helicopter identity. Or fucking vegetable identity. However, there is such a thing as gender identity. And even cis people have a fucking gender identity. Because your gender identity is how you can tell which gender you are. But yeah, that's why the joke doesn't make sense. If you were interested in knowing.